What a, what a, what a move by Howie Roseman, whoa! Yo everybody, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So, I'm obviously very happy. I'm celebrating, I'm happy because yes, the Sixers lost to the Spurs 101-95. to But guess what? Marco Fultz is only out one to two weeks. To me, we won the Summer League. It's a wrap. Pack up and go home. Go home because we won. Usually, with our luck, he'd be gone all year. He'd be gone all year. But it's only one to two weeks. So our luck is changing. We said no more last night, and no more is what's happening. So that's what I'm talking about. Fultz will be there. Now, as far as the game went, it felt like the summer league of all summer league games. It's been a while since, you know, we had summer league games that, I don't know, didn't seem, you know, to have the energy as, you know, the previous ones. I mean, with last year we had Ben Simmons, and then this year we had, you know, Fultz before he got hurt. So it was, it was kind of exciting seeing these summer league games. I thought tonight wasn't so exciting. There were still guys I wanted to watch. So I watched the guys I thought you know, will have an impact with the Sixers at some point. So, the first thing I'll say is that the Sixers, I don't I don't even know why they, the San Antonio Spurs took any shots outside. You didn't need to take any outside shots because the Sixers were letting them just drive to the lane the whole game. There was no defense. They just they just all stood around and watched the guy drive to the hoop. It was it was it was atrocious defense. Really on both sides, it was it was pretty sloppy, especially the beginning. Um I thought Jonah Bolden played very well again. To me, he shows why he's an impact player. He just he, he has a presence about him on the court. He only had seven points, three or four rebounds, had a nice steal, made a couple nice plays. I like him. I like his athleticism, and I would like to see him stay with the Sixers. I know that that, that may be not the case he's going to go, but I'd like to see him stay. Maybe, you know, go play in Delaware for a little bit and stay around and be with the team because I, I I really like the guy. I think he could play. I think he just needs more more polish. So I like him, you know. Um, another guy I wanted to watch was uh, TLC, but he didn't play because he, he took a shot yesterday. I don't know if you saw, but bam, he took a shot. So he was out, and rightfully so because he, I think he lost a tooth. He, he looked like he was a little bit out of it tonight sitting on the bench, but um, he didn't play. Another guy I wanted to watch was Furkan Korkmaz, who played and I thought struggled probably until the fourth quarter where he kind of turned it on a little bit, um, you know, made some shots, had a nice drive to the lane, that kind of thing, and uh, he, I think he ended up with 12 points. Now, the whole team kind of didn't play good until the end, and this has happened like three or four times with the Sixers this, you know, in these summer league games where they don't really turn it on until the end, and they kind of did that again, kind of made it close, and, and made it interesting, but... Forget all that. The most important thing I want to tell you, the, the best part of the whole night, you would never believe it. You would never believe it because I didn't believe it. They were interviewing Ben Simmons, and he was talking about how he can share the ball with Fultz, and he likes to share the ball, and he's going to start out at the point, which I'm like, yes, I want him to start at the point. Okay? So he's going to start at the point. This is what they're saying. Now, I ain't saying that they're, that they're interviewing him this, right? So the camera pans over. And then there's this guy sitting next to him, a string bean. The guy's a string bean. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? You know who it is? Do you know? Jaleel Okafor is sitting next to Simmons, and he looks like he's in great shape. I mean, like, tremendous shape. He, it's like, who is this guy? You know what I mean? Like, he is like a half of himself. He looks great. He looks great, and you know what? If they're going to trade him anyways, maybe he'll get his value up. But he looked like he's in great shape. And if he could come in and play like the third overall pick, that would be great. Get your trade value up, my man. Get it up. But he looked like he was in great shape, and I'm hoping that, that he comes and he has a great year this year. Look, I, I have no problem with you, little Oak. I want the best for all the players that, we, that are on our team in every sport. So even if I don't like a guy or if I talk bad about a guy in football or whatever, I like everybody to do good. I just tell you what I think about them because it's the honest thing to do. But I root for them all to, to, to do good. And I'm hoping Jaleel Okafor 
you know, has a great year. And let me tell you something, he looked like he's in great shape. So that was the whole, that was the, the highlight of the night, Julia Local for. So we'll see what happens the rest of the summer league. Hope you all get good night's sleep. And I'll talk to you later. I wanted to live stream this, but I didn't because I thought it was too late. But I figured it out. I've broken the code. So we'll see it soon, I'm sure. Take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.